morning. It's Chris from Longevity, brought to you by DNC Properties, our proud sponsor, and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we've got a special unboxing of uh, DeWalt's new brushless XR angle grinder, model number DCG413B. That is Delta Charlie Golf 413. Bravo. It is a 20 volt max lithium ion tool. It is part of their XR series and it is a brushless motor, which is fantastic. Okay, it's going to have top of the line uh, performance. It's going to be probably besides their flex bolt, this is their top of the line 20 volt angle grinder. It's a four and a quarter inch, I mean, four and a half inch of an angle grinder, which means that doesn't mean you can't put five inch blades on it. That just means the guard, uh, which I don't use the guards anyways, um, is going to be able to hold up to four and a half inch blades or four and a half inch grinding wheels or whatever you decide you're going to do. You've got a Bonte diamond blade uh, blades on here if you're cutting masonry, concrete, whatever you're doing. Um, but that's going to be its max capacity with the guard on. Um, this thing definitely packs a punch. It's got over 9,000 RPMs out of this motor. So you can definitely put a 5-inch wheel on there and have absolutely no problems cutting through what you need to cut through. Um, so uh, the reason why, guys, anyways, the reason why we're here today, uh, I had a uh, brushed uh, DeWalt angle grinder that I did have, which was the um, BCG412. Uh, um, I ended up getting rid of it. I sold it. Um, I really didn't like it. It reminded me a lot of the Craftsman. I, I wasn't a big fan of the guard and the front and the handle. Um, don't get me wrong, it was very comfortable. Um, I, I did like, um, it was more along the lines of this, had a really thin handle. It was very comfortable in the hand. It was very lightweight. Um, and it was very powerful. Very, very powerful grinder for a brush grinder. I, I will not lie, um, it, it, was, it was a good grinder. But for me, I... It just wasn't my favorite, okay? Um, so that's kind of where we're at today. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and box um, our new DeWalt 20 volt. Like I said, this is part of their XR series. It is a brushless grinder. Um, and let's jump right into it, guys. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got going on here. All right, so. Two. into a store and be able to purchase nice stuff and enjoy it and, and let, let it make you the money, right? That's what it's all about, guys. So um, for you thieves out there and guys that are stealing, uh, shame on you. Shame on you. Um, so let's get right back into it, guys. Um, let's go over a couple specs here. Um, the max watts out is going to be 800 watts. Uh, the no load speed, which is basically going to be its RPMs. We've got over 9,000 RPMs this bad boy's putting out. Uh, the spindle thread is five, uh, five eighths of an inch. Um, and the spindle lock, yes, it does have a spindle lock. And it only weighs 3.75 pounds bare tool. That is a light. Like, that's nothing. So that, that's one thing that really excites me, guys. Uh, this is backed by De DeWalt's uh, three-year limited time warranty. Um, you also get any free service to the tool if something happens within one year. And then you've got a 90-day money-back guarantee with the product. Uh, so don't let Lowe's fool you and they say, oh, um, 
I've had some issues with them lately. Some of the stories you try to tell you, um, you've got 30 days to return or, or exchange your tools. But you know what? I just pulled the box right out. This is right on the receipt too. 90 days. It does not say tools are excluded from the purchase. Okay? It does not say tools are excluded from this 90-day return exchange policy. If they have a problem with it, you just go ahead and show them the box. It says right here, 90-day money-back guarantee. Okay? So, anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to cut ourselves some tape here. This thing nice and open and see what we got inside the box, huh? Oh man, don't we just love ourselves some tool unboxings? Man, it's such an exciting time for me. Um, it's like Christmas for me, you know. Everybody has their thing, man. People like cars, people like jewelry. Tools is my thing. That's what I really love. So right off the bat, guys, uh, you know, we open the box here. We've got our dual manual here. Um, I always keep the literature because, you know what, one day when I'm an old man, if I've still got any of these tools and I need to figure out how to use it again, I've got, I've got the literature language right here. So we're definitely holding on to that. Um, looks like it comes with a handle, and uh, I will tell you this, this is the exact same handle that comes with the... Uh, the, uh, DC, uh, the DC G412, uh, which is the brush model, um, same handle, exact same plastic. Um, I'm not sure if the Flex Bolt comes with the handle. I do not own the Flex Bolt. I actually just got into the Flex Bolt lineup with the saws also. I will be building my Flex Bolt lineup as well. <coughs> and that looks like uh, that's about it. And it comes with the tool here, guys. So it looks like it comes with a guard already on it. Wow. Did you look at this thing. Beautiful, huh? It's super, super lightweight. Let's see if it stands up on its own. That's a very, very important. Ah, that's an important thing for me. I guess that's one thing I did notice with the uh, flex hole. It does not stand up. Um, because the battery goes in at an angle, so you can only lay the thing down. It's massive anyways. Um, that's for big, heavy-duty work. Um, so for me, I'm a carpenter. I do framing. I do home remodels. Uh, that's probably not necessary for me. Um, I might get it to do tool testing, but for me, these are just fine. Okay? So... Right off the rip, guys, um, you can see this thing is actually a paddle. Um, it's got a paddle to operate the actual um, grinder itself. It looks like it's got a little lock lever mechanism here. So what you do is you just pull down on the lock and then you can pull back and exceed on the, on the uh, paddle and the gas pedal. Instead of pushing on it, you're pulling on it, and that's going to control the speed. It is a variable speed paddle, so you can control um, how fast and how, how quick you want the uh, wheel to turn by pulling back and forth on the actual paddle itself. Um, one other thing I did notice right off the back, which kind of just it caught my eye real quick, I just thought I would take a look at it and see, is it looks like the, the tool breeds down here um, because this is almost like it's closed off up here. So that's definitely a little different, something I gotta get used to. Um, but so far, so good. I like what I'm seeing here. Very, very nice. Um, big old DeWalt letters. Um, so it looks like here it's got an easy mechanism. I noticed when I was using the other one, it would cake up, and then eventually it was hard to get the Allen wrench in there to unturn the wheel so you could 
take off the locking mechanism and replace the wheel, which was a pain in the butt sometimes. So um, that's, that's very important to me. So that's, that's a really cool feature. Um, fits in there just like the glove. Um, I don't know, let me give you guys a close-up shot here. Um, this is a pretty cool locking system. Um, very nice. It's got actual um, teeth grooves in here. So you slide this on, as you can see here, which is really cool. Um, it's gonna ensure the safety of the locking of the blade that's on here. Um, so that's very important to me too. It looks like it's got an easy release system, kind of like the Ryobi. Um, when you're wanting to take this off, I'm assuming you just push this in. Yeah, okay. So this is pretty much identical to how the Ryobi comes off. Very, very simple. Again, guys, I don't use the, uh, the guards, um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take those right off because that's just not necessary for me. Okay? Um, so next, we're going to go ahead and grab a blade. Um, I've got some DeWalt 4.5 inch flexible uh, metal cutoff wheels. And we're going to go ahead and place that on here nice and snug. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and lock our locking mechanism back up. And it looks like you just very simply okay, put this back on. Very simply pushing the lock button again. grab a battery. I've got a 4 amp hour XR battery here. We're going to test on this thing. Uh, the battery does go on backwards, which is kind of funky. Not a big, not a big issue for me. It's not a deal breaker. Um, I wish it did come with the bell clip. I've noticed DeWalt's gotten kind of cheap, man. It's like they give you the they give you belt clips in the Atomic series, but um, you buy their top of the line and then they don't give you um, they don't give you any belt clips. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but, very nice. Very nice quality. Wow, sounds like it's got some serious power. Holy cow, that's awesome, huh? That's a hell of a damn grinder, guys. So, um, again, this is the DCG413. Um, I have to say, it's definitely, even with the 4 amp hour battery on here, um, this thing is definitely light. It feels really, really good in the hand. Um, the grip is very, I don't have very big hands, so um, sometimes with these bigger handle grinders, it's, it's, it's hard for me. Like the Milwaukee and the Makita, they're really big. It's really hard for me to grip them. Um, so this is very similar to the Ryobi. Um, Weight-wise, the DeWalt's definitely lighter. Um, let's see bear tool. I, I think I want to, that's really what I want to check here. Let's compare the weight with bear tool. Because Ryobi's batteries are a little heavier. Yeah, and the Ryobi still is a little bit heavier. A little bit different too. The Ryobi's got a push on and off button here. Um, very different style, different type of mechanism here. So, um, power-wise, though, the Ryobi says it pushes out almost 11,000 RPMs. Um, so we definitely ought to put these bad boys to the test, like a head-to-head, -head, so we can see which ones really going to outperform each other. Um, because hey, we're all about testing stuff here, right? We get down and dirty here in the shop over here at DNC Properties. Um, so we're always pushing the envelope to try to see what these tools can really, really handle. Um, and that's really fun. That's what makes this fun, guys. This unboxing of new tools and uh, new things that I get. Uh, I am not sponsored by DeWalt at all, um, but I do love their tools. I do love reviewing their stuff. 
Um, and that's, it's just something I enjoy doing. Um, I do, I use tools every day for a living. So uh, being able to do this and um, come out here um, as much as I can and do tool reviews and let you guys know what's a good purchase on the market out there. Um, the bare tool at Lowe's is $129.99. Um, if you go to Lowe's, um, a Home Depot does carry this product too, but you can only order it online. Um, but they've got it listed at 119 So if you go to Lowe's, everybody knows, you tell them it's 119 show them a picture, they'll go ahead and price match this for what Home Depot has it for, um, which is 10 bucks cheaper. Um, if you got a military discount like me, you save yourself an additional, I think it was uh, $10. So I ended up getting it for about 100 bucks. Um, which is a damn good deal. So I think for 100 bucks to get the, the top of the line, um, 20 volt brushless um, angle grinder that DeWalt carries, um, that's a hell of a deal. So, um, if, you know, at the end of the day, guys, I guess I can show you this too real quick. Um, it does have a lock on both sides depending if you are left or right handed so if you are using that grinding wheel uh, I do recommend when you're using a grinding wheel to polish something um, you have to use the handle um, you don't have to but you're definitely going to get way better um, control um, you know, for, for what you're doing um, and the torque this thing's got some torque man I mean damn very impressed. Um, the ergonomics of the tool are just top, top of the line, guys. This is definitely very comfortable. Definitely uh, my, one of my favorites so far. Um, Performance protect system on I mean, that brake. Watch how fast that blade stops. I mean, that's less than I mean, that's it. It's pretty instantaneous. And look how long the Ryobi is. It, it definitely does take a little bit of time for that thing to stop. Um, this one's not so bad. This is like my middle of the line grinder, guys. This thing only puts out about 7,000 RPMs. Um, so it's not gonna be your strongest grinder, but I will tell you this. This thing does have power, um, and this thing does get the job done. So if you're looking for something that's inexpensive and you don't have 120 bucks to spend, and if you're not in the DeWalt lineup or the Makita lineup, but you're in the Ryobi lineup, um, $39.99, it's a $40 grinder, guys, and this thing, I mean, it's, it's got some power, it's got some juice. I, I put this thing up against anything. Maybe not speed-wise, it might not cut as fast as all these other grinders, but I guarantee you it will get the job done, um, just like these other bad boys can do as well, too. Um, you can see that this one's this is a beast, it's big, uh, but I love it. It's a great grinder, great, great, great grinder. So anyways, guys, there you have it. Uh, the new DeWalt uh, 20 volt max brushless XR grinder uh, DCG413. It's a four and a half inch grinder. Uh, without, that's with the guard. Other than that, you can put five inch blades on it, um, which I do use five inch blades when I'm doing bigger applications. Just depends on what I'm doing at the time. Um, again, very comfortable, very nice, um, and I'm very happy I was able to get this tool. So stay tuned, I got more videos coming. We're gonna show this bad boy in action so you guys can really see what it can do and what it can handle. So again, uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, please, give me some likes. It's free to hit the like button. It helps me out. It allows me to keep doing this so I can keep making more videos and keep showing you guys the great tools that are out on the market today so you can get the best bang for your buck. So, again, my name is Chris. Um, that's with Longevity, and it's brought to you by our sponsor, DNC Properties. And I can't wait to see you guys again on the channel. Peace!